It's like I'm making half my EP. And welcome to the Black House on 106.1 FM. Welcome um, to the Black House 106.1 FM. It's a lovely Saturday afternoon here in Wellington. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, so yes, you're here with Eddie and Nani, and of course we have Onkeo with um, yeah. the social media magic that I just can't ever wrap my head around. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and yeah, so then, um, yeah, how's everyone's week been going? It's been, oh my god, the sun. The Yesterday, sun. <laughs> like, last week was so terrible, like, you're, like, swimming through puddles. This week, it's like, I'm sorry, I was just joking, <laughs> I still love you. I <laughs> can't be Wellington on a good day. So, yeah, so, I'm pretty super excited about our guest in studio today, because I feel like, since moving out to Wellington, I've been trying to, I guess, like, I feel, I feel like the black folk from the South Island don't get enough love. Like, I didn't get enough love here. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm stoked to have someone else, like, direct from Dunedin on here today. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's one of the smoothest singers you'll ever meet. Like, he's beyond stylish. Like, you, when this goes up on YouTube, you'll be like, well, and we'll put out some photos, like, TJ, TJ your, your outfit today is absolutely phenomenal. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, so. Thank you. And you'll have seen him and heard him on Pop Stars. Um, we made it to the final, final four, was it? Yes, I do. Yes, Bravo. Yo, it's, it's TJ Zimba, aka was it Z? Yes, sir. <laughs> How you doing, man? What brings you to Willie? I'm doing good. Um, I was up here actually for uh, like a church event and also just to record some some music as well and for, to do this interview. <laughs> oh, we're like we're on it, like. <laughs> Yo, so I guess like um, did you record? Is this uh, the new new album? Uh, I've got an EP coming out. Yeah. Hey. yeah, definitely got an EP coming out. Congratulations, Thank you. Black Excellence Thank on Display. You. Thank you. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but um, <laughs> I know that it's just going to be something vibey. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, does it doesn't have a name yet, but and I don't know how many songs, but I've got. I just sent off the the like rough demo to my like management. Hey. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we're just waiting to see what they said. They liked it, so. Oh, but I need, I need my friends to listen to it. And then <laughs> yeah, I can right. be like, okay, I have your validation. Yeah, like, you got to check with the core team, right? Yeah. Like, they're the ones who keep you on point. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I guess, like, that, I feel like yeah, we brought up music. Let's let's start with your music. Like, I guess, like, I'm, you've got a pretty... Step, oh, step one, step we'll one? let you introduce yourself. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Hey, <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <yeah. laughs> well, son. Hi, I go by the name of TJ Zimba, uh, also known as Z. Um, I go by Z, actually. TJ is for, like, no one calls me TJ anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Z's cool. Um, but yeah, I make music, I'm a producer, I'm a singer, choreographer, I dance, and I like to paint as well. Oh, I just, wow. I did love a painting. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Smart. I paint and uh, I paint and draw, but I just it's just one of those things I just do in private. Yeah. Yeah. That that zen those zen moments with yourself. Yeah, right? I just gotta anything arty I like to like explore and just see what I can Ooh, do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What, about, what about acting? I feel like is that <laughs> I used I was actually like a naturally good actor as mm. a kid. Oh, there um, we go. And I used to take, like, do drama things, and, like, I passed all the, like, I got the highest marks in class. You're going to get, like, that triple threat thing. <laughs> I just where you're, like, I'm an actor it. and a pop star. Nah, 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 and nah, nah, I paint nah, nah. red. <laughs> I, I haven't acted since then. I don't know. I just kind of, it wasn't my thing. Yeah. I yeah. just used it as, a, like, a thing to, like, trick my friends, you know. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll switch accents if I want. Look, I said it before, I'll say it again. You're black. You have to act. Yeah. Like, you gotta blend. That code switch, huh? Like, you gotta code switch. Like, you have to. It's survival. It is survival. It is survival. It's a survival mechanism. Mm. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, so I, I guess, yeah, like, let's let's kind of map out, like, I guess, like, across everything, like, what's the musical journey of, of Z? Like, yeah, yeah. Musical journey of Z starts with me being... I think four, five, mm -hmm. and sneaking onto like church instruments hey. after church, and then getting kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> but then continue to do it, and then like making like drums and stuff in my in my like sister's bedroom with like literally like pots and buckets. Nice. And then it goes on to me just literally picking up any instrument I wanted to pick up, and then just like, playing it as if I played it before. Mm. Like I never like. I literally pick up an instrument and start playing it as if I've been playing it. People be like, "What the heck?" Damn. Yeah, I'm it like, is. That's I'm that true savant energy. Where yeah, you're just like, nah, like, I just vibe you. Yeah, I was just like six or seven. <laughs> I literally pick up it, and then, yeah, it got to a point when I was like at eleven instruments, and then I was just like, "Oh, this is cool." I kind of thought in my head, 
the way music worked was that the instrument didn't matter. Yeah. Mm. Like, I could literally just pick it up and play, like, what's stopping you from playing it? Yeah. Now as an adult, that I've made all these connections in my head, and it's like, mm. oh, how the heck do you play this instrument? Yeah. Yeah. But as a kid, literally, I'd just pick up whatever I wanted. There, there was something, like, kind of freeing about being a kid, like, and having that kind of... Yeah. That, all, that, that lack of that kind of voice in the back of your head saying, like, mm. no, you have to do it like this. You yeah. need to do it yeah. like that. Like, <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. And I feel like being... I was lucky enough to be exposed to all that. Mm. And then fast forward to intermediate, where my school allowed me to, like, take instrument lessons for free. Nice. They were like, they were like, oh, TJ the prodigy. <laughs> Let's invest in him and invest in him so he can enter like competitions and yeah. like thingy for us and win like money for the school. And I was like, oh, dope. So I, I ended a couple. Didn't end up doing. Did them. you mind if I ask what school? Um, see if I say what school. Oh. Then put it on blast. I, no, it's not that I would put it on blast, but kids there would be like, hey, how come we can't get free? <laughs> and I know some people who might get really mad okay. at that. Right, so okay. I won't put the I'm, school on blast. I'm, I'm trying to work out, like, because I'm, I'm trying to work out who I know. From You're from Dunedin. Yeah, who, yeah. I, who I know that went to school with you should work out, like, was it that one? Like, yeah, <laughs> no, but it was an, a well-known intermediate is what I'll say. Mm. And I used to skip class just to go. <laughs> so I used to just, cause I took every instrument because, you yeah, know, it was like yeah. three. So I, I had like literally three like hours of instruments because, yeah. you know, lessons yeah. were like 40 minutes. So I could just like put that every like Thursday. I would yeah. just be like, oh, sorry, I have like three hours of instruments. <laughs> yeah. I won't be in class before yeah. lunch yeah. and after lunch <laughs> and before playtime. <laughs> <laughs> like just not show up. Yeah. I'd literally just sit in the pack. Like, I'd actually would have done all my lessons and be yeah. done. But then I'd just sit in there for, like, another two hours. Just yeah. sitting in the pack playing instruments and just mm. literally getting better at my craft. Yeah, yeah. And then fast forward to now, here I am. Cause yeah. because I've skipped a lot. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just don't want to be a long story, but I've skipped a lot. Yeah, we've got time. Like, <laughs> yeah, for a while. Time is what we got, y'all. For a while, then I'll tell, like, the little in-between parts. I guess I went to... What did I do? I started doing, I started making beats in high school, nice. like year nine. Yeah. And I used to make beats on like this crappy laptop, <laughs> not laptop, it was a computer. Yeah. You know those, you know it's an old computer when you turn it on with your toes. Oh, wow. Oh, it was one of those. Oh my God, yes. You know, like the button is <laughs> yeah, way Yeah, yeah, and you just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it goes, yeah. and it goes, Holy shit. That's <laughs> turning on with a giant fan. Yeah. And you kind of sit closer to it because yeah, it's like, because it's warm. warm yeah. Middle, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the exact type of like. And like, you know, it makes a little soft hum. And like, yeah. if nothing's playing, you find yourself going, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just <laughs> going and vibing with it. Yeah, right. I was literally doing that. Yeah. And then I started like, I had a cracked version of Fruity Loops, <laughs> um, and I'd literally just start making beats on that. And at the time, I was like, oh my god, I'm the best <laughs> in the world. I love this. I love this. Actually, no, no, it switched. When I first started, I was like, uh, I'm okay, I guess. I was real, like, yeah. anxious. And yeah. I used to make dubstep. Yeah. I started off making dubstep. Oh, yeah. Because dubstep yeah. was a massive. That was, it is. It, it was. was massive. Like, 2013, 2012, yeah. that stuff went off. I remember there was this song called um, Need Your Love. Yeah. By Adventure yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. No, and, like, literally, I can't, like, you know those, mm. I remember being in the early 2000s when mm. every something would play on every radio station. You'd be like, I'm so sick of this. But, like, when, yeah. like, I need your love dubstep, I'm like, you can yeah. play on any radio station, <laughs> yeah. any mm. club. You walk into a friend's house, they're playing, and you're like, I'm here, I'm here, yeah. I'm vibing. And, like, that we're all here. went off. It did. It was that and the Swedish House Mafia at the Sweet. time. Oh, my days. That EDM <laughs> was going off. Like, just, don't you worry, child, was, like, I just, on yeah, the, the school yes. socials, like, just, mm -hmm. like, like bruh. That was, yeah. like, <laughs> it was, like, you're either listening to, like, EDM, yeah. you know, Marty Garrix, yeah. all those people, mm -hmm. or you're listening to, like, dubstep, and you're listening to Skrillex. I feel mm -hmm. like when, like, historians look backwards, like, we're going to think they're going to be worried about coronavirus or this, mm -hmm. that, but they're going to be like, oh, you remember that one year that, that like, that, yeah. you know, I Need Your Love was super popular? <laughs> like, it's going to be chronology, <laughs> yeah. like, we're going to think of the whole 20, 2000s chronology in terms of music, yeah. and what song was just, like, on everybody's Yeah, I mean, virus. for, for <laughs> us, people who like good music, <laughs> Literally like the banger that year. Right. I was just like, I used to just want to make songs like that. Right. And then it got to a point where, like, I made the beat. I made this fire song. I wish I could have access to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's on a phone that doesn't have a charge that exists anymore. So right. I don't charge the phone just to take the thing. All it's right. Such a, it's we, we're gonna have to sort you out. Yeah, it's a trash situation. It. If you know, if Nokia wants to literally sponsor me, or I will send it to their factory <laughs> and they can extract that information from me. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I've, yeah. I've got a mate who works for Trade Me, like, and like, yeah. I give it, I'll be like, yo, 
I need like this particular like phone charger. charger. Yeah. yeah. Like, Find this to me. If to be honest, to be honest, I'm old enough uh, that I probably am like that black kid. You, you know, how, like every black family has this big bag of wires and chargers. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you somewhere yeah. in there is the no charger. Just a charging box of right? like, chargers and like, cables, right? Like Ethernet cables, and <laughs> everything is in there. I got like like a like a um, what was it like a twelve foot like Ethernet cable. Yeah. I got like two of them back from my studio, and I'm just like. <laughs> I'm sure I got the charger. I'm yeah. sure I oh, got no. that charger. Because that's the somewhere. first place you look right? when you lose any kind of cable. <laughs> you know, like, and you know, dead ass, you never even went there. Right. Like, you were like, never near there, but the, you know that you left something there. And this this tiny part of me is like, I don't even know if white houses do this, but I know every black house has this big bag <laughs> yeah. or box of is Ethan that and a cable. Or an ice cream tub filled with not ice cream. Yes. In the fridge. Um, it's, and, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like the, 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 the underneath the sink is a bag full of shopping bags. Yeah, they don't yeah. even give oh, you yeah. shopping bags, and we yeah. still got. Yeah. I, yo, I wondered why that was still in my house. I was like, yo, we use like reusable bags. Why do we well, still how have, do that? I have my, my flat has has like a like a cupboard, like it's yeah. literally like three shelves, and it's just all reusable bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I had a friend of mine, like a black friend of mine, who was actually like knitting things out of like shopping bags, out of like, shopping like bags. purses and like you know, like oh. little like like shopping bags. She just had so many. She was like, "Fuck wow. it, I'm gonna knit bags out of shopping bags." I just see it falling apart. <laughs> no, nah, it was it was tight. That knit was that knit was tight. Damn. <laughs> I just I don't know. Recycle. The way physics works in my head. I just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. like things just fall on like, the floor. You know, like when you got like a bottle of milk in a puffing bag and it starts streaking. Yeah, and it just yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, you're like, damn, I should walk faster. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or I'm doing that awkward thing when I hold the bottom of the bag. <laughs> no one wants to do that, so I'm just gonna walk faster. <laughs> but this, going this back to this episode yeah, brought yeah, to you by yeah, Upside Wing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, returning back to the music. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> What was I up to? Uh, I was uh, making dubstep. I'm making dubstep. Yeah, making dubstep. And it was fire. That beat is insane. Yes. Everyone thought it was dope. Yes. Then I started making hip hop. Nice. I, that's when I was like, man, I'm the goat. I'm the best ever <laughs> making hip hop. I listened back to that beat. I'm like, this is the most bootiest. <laughs> the, the ideas were there, though. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. ideas were there, but I didn't have the skill level no. to like execute it. Then I'd like disappear for a little bit, started making like EDM and like, mm. that's now when I like now discovered Flume. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it was about 2016 when he released that um, song with, is it, uh, I can't remember her name. Oh, you're going to have to. Never Be Like You. Uh, oh, oh right, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Is. yeah. And I was like, man, this song is so fire. And I found out because I lived in Australia at that yeah. time. I was like, oh, whoa. He's Australian, just like me. So I can, like, <laughs> jam out. Like, we can actually make it. Yeah. doesn't matter if you're from New Zealand or Australia. Finally. You can, like, go off. And, like, yeah. Lord was also, like, whoa. Yeah. Mm. So I was like, oh, well, like, Australasia, we're actually doing something, <laughs> yeah. like, fire. So I remember there was a guy going to boarding house and, um, when I was at school that was like, mm. Lord's mum follows me on Instagram. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that was the guy's thing. And it was his claim to fame. Just, no <laughs> one cares. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> cool. I, I think there's this thing, like, when you're really young. Like, I just want to, like, track it back just a second. Like, mm. you get this thing where you have no skill, but you are all taste. Like, you yeah. know what you love. Because mm. you're still, like, when you're really, really little, you are all vibes. Yeah. You ain't got nothing but vibes. Yeah, the creativity is there. Right? For and, sure. And you can read vibes. You can feel vibes. That's, that's it. You're it. You have no technical skill. Mm. So I, I honestly find that, like, it's the earliest shit that you make that is going to, like, you will one day return back to that, like yeah. a samurai back to his first dojo. <laughs> yeah. And you'd be like, all right, I'm going to take this yeah. immaculate taste to the max, right? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. come back here, but for now, I'm just going to, you're going to have to sit there Thanks. and wait for me. On, you're going to have to wait for on me. On a phone with no charger. Right? Yeah. Like, on a phone with no charger. But Thanks. that's like a, like, that's a, what do they call them? Like, you know, the, the, the little box and you put it under a thing and like, you, you wait a couple of years. And then, like time, time capsule, capsule right? Capsule. It's a time oh, capsule yeah, yeah, and you will yeah, return yeah, yeah. and your taste will absolutely still be core. So. Yeah. That's the thing. I'm like, now that I'm where I am now, mm. like, I, when I started making music, I took a break in like 2016. Yeah. Then I disappeared for a little bit. Yes. Um, and I had all these elements, all these different flavors. And I what like spent endless hours yeah. watching like genius videos of them. <laughs> you know, like you know, you gotta. You gotta. And then I started making beats for my friend Timmy. Mm. That's when I was like, okay, I actually want to be like a producer now. Yeah. And that's where I learned all these like skills i would yeah. say like how to actually execute what i wanted and yeah. it was now like my crazy i did this thing where i was like at first i had to like 
have another engineer in the studio. Yeah. So I was still producing, but he was like pressing record. Yeah. Mm. I couldn't, my brain was working way too fast. Yes. And he'd look at me and be like, bro, what the heck are you doing? I'm like, no, just trust me, press record. Yeah. All right, next, give me the sound. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, I'm going to play it. Yeah. All right, give me the sound. Yeah. Okay, yeah, give me drums. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. I just record vocals. He's like, oh, yeah. I, had, yo, I don't even like <laughs> I was like, no, Slow we'll do down. that later. We'll just, we'll just, let's, let's do this. I need yeah. to do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, yeah. let's go. And I was like, man, low key, homie's slowing me down. Yeah. Not in a bad way. <laughs> like, not in a bad way, but like, yeah. my mind is just thinking way yeah. too fast and like even too fast for me to yeah. like process it. But then I developed a skill of how to actually manage how fast my brain moves yeah. when I'm like switched on into yeah. the music. I was like, I started producing by myself. Yeah. Literally on my laptop now. I have all these skills and I have my crazy like ideas. Yeah. And I was like, it was just the most beautiful thing when my ideas actually took a physical form. Mm. Oh. Exactly how I was hearing them in Snaps. my head. Snaps. And like so many times I've like, if you walk in halfway through my session, you're like, bro, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> you know, like, people literally yeah. say that. My best friend, yeah. Tim, he yeah. literally says that. You're like, bro, what are you no, you, don't do that. No, and I'm no, like, no. let's do this. And people are like, no, 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 but that's no. not how it's done. I'm like, I don't care how it's yeah. done. Yeah. If I wanted to do it how it's done, I would go literally, I would yeah. go on, like... I'd get I somebody even, else to do it. No, I wouldn't even make the beat. I'd go yeah. on YouTube and try, type in Drake type beat, instrumental, yeah. and yeah. then rap on that or sing on that. But exactly. I don't want to do it how everybody else is doing it. I want to do it how Z would do it. It's beautiful. I yeah. want to, like, change the game. I want to do things. I want to put gaps where they should be like usually like you put a gap at the end of the bar like one two three four yeah one two three four but i go one two three four three four three. Yeah, you know yeah. like i took a way longer gap yeah came in on the snare yeah nobody really does that no no one does that actually yeah, cause I <laughs> like, freaking came up with it <laughs> like here, here we are in the age of robots who can absolutely like go toe to toe with any formula we have so yeah. how do you stay fresh mm -hmm. you stay fresh you stay human yeah. you stay flawed you stay fallible keep mistakes in keep me. mistakes like I, I keep all my mistakes I honestly feel like we're starting to live in the 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 golden years of mistakes and organics mm. and I actually feel like we will feel it in about 10 20 years that mm -hmm everything will have these sharp edges yeah. where organic, like, mm -hmm. faulty, like, messy love, and, like, mm -hmm. that's just going to be, like, you're going to be like, no, we can't no, do that anymore. We don't, we don't have time. We don't have, like, too many people. But right now, yeah. now is the time for exactly as you say, that fresh mm -hmm. energy coming in and being like, I don't want to do it like it says on the formula Literally. because I don't want to. Like, when I'm working with producers, they'll make a mistake, yeah, and they'll be like, about to deliver like no 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 leave it keep yeah. that leave it you don't have no idea yeah. how fire that is listen yeah. to it again and yeah. then they yeah. hear it and they're like oh wait that is actually yeah that's right how, that's how you flashback a couple of years like when like when Mo Bamba came out yeah, yeah. I was thinking like there's the bit, accident like, upon yeah. accident yeah it's straight up like you know running off an old computer it freezes yeah like there's that oh fuck <laughs> shit <laughs> and then, and, and it was like, like the yeah. beat comes back in right as they're about to panic and it was like yeah. wow we just ran with it and yeah. it's just like the most energetic iconic right? yeah it oh was my God. literally so iconic <laughs> and it's literally like moments like that i yeah. live for i yeah. froth situations like that right so now like i literally keep all my mistakes and my beats and i like i like to be a pioneer yeah now i'm actually doing what i want to do and i'm i'm happy with the things i'm doing mm -hmm. even like in my song tomorrow maybe yeah. i'm surprised they let me release it how it came out yeah. Like if you listen to that that song's crazy. Like <laughs> I have drum fills randomly in the middle, yeah. then guitar solos, and I have Sky's vocals yeah. stacked as a choir. Mm -hmm. All those things should not work together. No. I yeah, I'm I'm into it because that's the thing I've listened to that so many times and I just can't place it. Like <laughs> yeah. and because that's the thing because I, I I listened to it right I was listening to like Bad Brains, so like yeah. kind of like kind of punky kind of middle type thing. Yeah. And that's like the immediate the only thing I could really get it to was like I had to be like, this is kind of just punk because yeah. there's no it, it, it was so indescribable. I was trying yeah. to like, work out mm. like, how does this, like, every listen was just something. So I'm trying to pull out something different from that. So, right? Yeah. You get that, like, musical thumbprint where you're like, I mean, and, and I know that's been a little bit debunked. Mm. Yes, other people have thumbprints like you. But generally yeah. speaking, you have a musical thumbprint, yeah. which is the way in which you hiccup and the way in which you breathe. 
mm-hmm. right? Like, and I just, I, I have, I've finally gotten to the point where I'm just like, nah, nah, nah. Like, and so hearing you <laughs> being like, nah, yeah. sh- shut up, this is organics, I'm not a robot, not following the, the path. Yeah. I've, I have the technical skill to know what it was supposed to be, yeah. and fuck you, I'm human, this is what it was, and I love it. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Well, no one wants to, <laughs> no one wants to predict what's going to happen in a song. Oh, cool, an 808's about to hit. <laughs> oh, oh, he's gonna hit the chorus right now. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, the chorus is the same word for yeah. two minutes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, let's go to the next song on the radio. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly that. Mm. And right. you know what? Sometimes that is what it is, and that was what was wanted, and that is yeah. what's vibing. But sometimes it's not. And I also yeah. think that there is a thing, especially from like early noughties, like even like late nineties up till like the twenty tens, mm. where what we had was this thing we call radio play, right? Yeah. And it follows every single formula. It is perfect. It is flawless. Yeah. It is sushi made by a machine, right? Yeah. Like it has no handprints. There's no yeah. human behind it. There's no warmth in the fingers, mm-hmm. right? They just warmed it to exactly the right temperature, yeah. but they don't understand, right? It doesn't. It doesn't hit as hard. It doesn't hit. Like, you don't want sushi made by a machine. No, you just you don't. don't. I want a human you want to get their finger. Right? Man. I want that dirty old <laughs> man's all up on my fish. Yeah. The food at dirty places tastes better. <laughs> than, like, a flawless they damaged do. restaurant. Yeah, you want, they do. They you do. You want like, you're, you're like, wow, this, this place is disgusting. Like, yeah. This this, this is going to be mean. Like, 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 right, yeah, like, they, they have to, it has to be mean for them to get away with it. Like, that's, <laughs> yeah. like you get this thing. So, I, like, if you go to Japan, like, yeah. I don't you can't now, right now, because Corona. But when you go to Japan, I got yeah. this introduced to this concept, right? You go to Osaka. Mm. And you do not go to the main street and get something there. What you yeah. do is you go get lost down a back alley, down a back alley, down a back alley, down a back You keep walking for at least a half hour. An hour will do you better. Yeah. You find what looks like somebody's house. And, and you just walk in. Is. And yeah. you will taste something that is yeah. off the slaps. charts. And it slaps. And they're like, yeah. actually, this house has like been here for like 200 years. This yeah. family's been cooking for people off the streets for yeah. like just as long. That cooking and, oil hasn't been changed in a week. And that cooking oil hasn't <laughs> been changed that whole time. And that's some flavors. And like, you just, like, honestly, you just walk in, sit down in their house, and be like, two Odin, please. Yeah. And, like, and they'll be like, all right. Yeah. You know, like, and they'll just come over. It's like, kisuni udan. Like, okay, cool. And then they put it in front of you, and you will just be like, are these noodles all? Yeah. Oh my god. Like, like this mm. tastes like my mama used to make if I came from like a Disney film. Yeah. <laughs> you see slow like that film food in cartoon movies. Oh Yo. my god. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, why can't this exist in real life? Yeah, right? Like I, I feel like that's what it would taste when, like. When you think like that's like the Becker, like Charlie and the chocolate Becker. Yeah. You just sit yeah. there and go like this is this is fantastic as a kid yeah. you're just like I want all these lollies. Yeah. To, like, be. Yeah, <laughs> and but, it did end, end up actually happening. Cadbury's kind of did that. Mm. Yeah, if you ever went to Cab oh, in Dunedin, we yeah. had like mm, Cadbury's, and you could go like yeah. touring there and have like the, chocolate, the chocolate waterfall. Yeah, the chocolate <laughs> waterfall. That was like, ooh. Right, but it's that whole like paradigm of like um, there are a lot of people who want that synthetic. There, in yeah. fact, I from what it seems right now, there are more people who want the synthetic. But it is it shows a quality and a refinement not yeah. to want that synthetic, to want the organic, to understand the nuance of the process enough to crave the flaw. Yeah. Like and to crave the humanity. Yeah. And like and you do, you get that. It's exactly that. You if you wanted radio play, if you just wanted to Google, you can have anything synthetic right mm. now, but you yeah. but that organic thumbprint that you were talking about. Yeah. You have to go down a back alley to find that <laughs> yeah. old lady who's just sitting there being like, come in. Yeah, yes. okay, sit down. Yeah. Like, how much does it cost? $3. You know, yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah, see, I feel like there's something beautiful in, like, when something is not perfect. Yes. Imperfections make, that's, I think that's the definition of being beautiful because, like, there's, that creates, like, something being unique. Yeah. And yeah. what makes something unique makes something beautiful because it it's not it the memorable. same as everything. Yeah, yeah, it makes it completely it's, different. It's, it's like, like, oh, that's different. I've never seen eyes like this or you know? heard a song like this yeah. or, like... Like, for every Jeffrey that exists, of which, if you Google it, I'm for sure that name that, you know, like, I'm sorry, Jeffrey, but, you know, <laughs> that you exist, right? Like, Dave's, Daniel's, yeah. Jeffrey's, Mike's, right? Yeah. But Mbaku, and you're just like, how many of you are there? Yeah. Right? Like, wait, like how many? Do you yeah. have enough of those out there? Like, yeah. like all, all seven of you sitting there being like, she noticed me. 
<laughs> she, yeah. she she's called me out. Yeah. And, and it is it's that it's that that uniqueness of the thumbprint. And yeah. everyone has something like that. And yeah. I think that we lived in an age, the especially during the industrial age, where they beat that out of you, yeah. and they t teach you to sh be ashamed of it. Yeah. They teach you ashamed of every way in which the world, like you know, ruins your snowflake. Yeah. But like you, you just wear it. You just be like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, the thing. I'm not a fan of like <laughs> cookie cutter image or like cardboard cutout. You know what I mean? Like I don't like copies and replicas of things. I think that there's something to be said for the formula. Yeah. Some shit's old because it works, right? Yeah. Like, look, I don't need square wheels, <laughs> like, yeah. right? I mean, did it work? <laughs> or were we just told that it's working? So like, we kind of went with it. Some things just work, right? Yeah. Like, some things do just work. Some things are old. You know, love love works a certain way. Yeah. Why? Because it works a certain way. Yeah. Like, because it takes a certain way to make a baby. That's why love works a certain yes. way, right? Uh, right? Yeah. And then, like, you know, so, like, and the digestive serve, like, food tastes a certain way. Why? Because you gotta eat it. Like, because, you know, like, you gotta, because you need it in you, right? Um, so, <laughs> I love your expression. It's fantastic. But what I'm saying is that some things how do we just, get here? how do we care? Because some things are old and some formulas are absolutely flawless because yeah. you can't fuck with them. But, that, but the thing is, those formulas, you can't fuck with it. You can't. You yeah. can't mess those up. Because yeah. you will just instantly fail. Yeah. So you ha can have trust in those ancient, ancient like rhythms. Yeah. And you can just lean into them and be like, yeah. all right, I'm going to try and mess with it. Yeah. Oh, look, there we go. We're back on mainstream. Yeah, that's true. I feel like if it can be messed with, yeah. mess with it. Mess with it, oh, yeah. <laughs> also, like, I'm, I'm quite keen to hear, like... I don't know. Yeah. Some, some, something that interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna throw like, some music on. What do you? What would you recommend? Uh, like, that's like a wine list. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what pairs well with the conversation we just had? What's the <laughs> combo? <laughs> yeah. What did I say? A nice cordon bleu. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you know what? Two lists from your cup would go nice with cookie cutter images. Cool, cool, cool. Let me Either that or Spain without the S. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go show it to your cup and there. <laughs> Okay, give a, give us a rundown on chill so that from yeah chill from your. So cup. this is actually the demo version. Um, so I don't know how exact. This is the first mix I just got back from my producer. I actually literally just got back all these songs because I'm like in the middle of recording my EP. Mm. Mm. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't have Sky's verse on it. Yeah, I'm supposed to record a verse on it, but it's pretty much about what is tulips. From your, I think it, it was a metaphor for me because it was actually talking about like you know your two lips. Oh right, uh, there also we go. talking about the purity of that like flower, and it was pretty much talking about how like you have this cup, right? And mm. from this cup, we can both put like whatever we want in this cup. Like you know in that cup we like yeah. mix together whatever like emotions or whether it's time that we spend right. together, and. We don't want to just have the same. We don't want to just drink the same drink as yeah. everybody else is drinking. Yeah. But at a certain point, like this person has tainted what's in that cup. Right. And I no longer want to share that cup with that person. Right. You know, and it's now like they put like some some bad medicine. Yeah. It's like I'm taking that metaphor of like to have a taste of your own medicine. So yeah. In that, I say like have a taste of your own medicine, but from your own cup. Right. Ooh. Right. Right. And I'm yeah. That's. <coughs> I don't want to give away too much. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's. That's beautiful. That's, <laughs> that's like, wow. Mm, yeah. Ooh, Chills poetry. from your cup. <laughs> 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 I, I was just say, I have words, but no, I don't have words. I have thoughts and feelings. <laughs> like, like, an absolute banger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I guess, like, I don't know, like, I guess one of the ongoing things I've seen throughout your music is, like, love has been, like, a like kind of big thing but obviously like mm. from you i've always found like you have one of the most kind of nuanced kind of takes on it on love and because i think the big focus on you has always been like what is it like what was it the six greek types of love so mm. obviously yeah, like yeah, agape yeah, yeah. And that's, yeah so that was one of the things i found i guess mm. what do you find so fascinating about love from that kind of standpoint I think like love is just. Oh, hold up. Oh, there we go. sorry. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, hey, 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 so hold up. <laughs> oh, turn turn, turn the mic up. There we go. You, all these frequencies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think for me, like, love is. I, I really like, believe like love is a drug, mm. you know, but it, like, <laughs> it's a good drug that we, like, we need, you know, and I'm always like, for me, it's like a drug that can heal so much. I really believe the answer to a lot of things is like, love mm. so for me I, I always use that to like combat 
anything that I hear that's negative, I'm like, oh, okay, it's probably just because they don't have love in their life or they don't experience love. Yeah. And it's kind of like my take on how I um, responded. So when I was on like this TV show about pop stars, mm. I received hate comments for the first time in my oh, life. Wow. Oh, yeah. Because you know, like when you're a kid, you're like, what the heck? No, like, hate comments are nothing. Like, you yeah. laugh it yeah. off because you're like, this is funny as heck. Yeah. Like, just it has get nothing off your to do phone. With you. Yeah, get off your phone. Yeah. Or you, like, yeah, you literally, like, man, these celebrities, what's, yeah. the, what's wrong with them, man? Just get off your phone. Yeah. And then here I am, as, like, a 21 year old, mm. and I'm like, oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this situation now yeah. is so different when it's actually you. Mm. And you're in this weird, like, seat where you're like, how do I respond to this? Yeah. Can I cry about this? Yeah. Because I want to cry. Like, I, you know, yeah. it's healthy to cry and, like, be hurt. I want to cry and be hurt by this, but it's like, damn, I don't want them to have that kind of power. I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, snaps. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> so it's like, but if I don't do that, then I'm going to be really toxic and not good for my mental health yeah. if I don't deal with this. Right? So it's like, well, crap. Do I deal with this or do I let them win? Like, mm. like it feels like you're, oh, man, you are hitting the nail yeah. on the head. <laughs> and I was like, like <laughs> if somebody comes at you with this, like, like totally, like, effed up energy. Yeah. And, like, you, you don't understand. I'm on this knife right now where yeah. you're like, I'm like, if I show joy, yeah. do is that my power or my weakness? If yeah. I show sadness, is that my power or my weakness? Yes. Right? Like, and so you sit on that knife mm -hmm. and a tiny part of you is like being frozen in that like refusal to like act, which yeah. I think is the, the true thing that you can have is whichever path you take, whether yeah. it's to show strength or weakness, if they didn't stop you yeah. in that, like trying to figure out what, then you win. You, then that's yeah. the, like, you just have to keep the flow, right? The power comes in you, you deciding. Yes, exactly. Like that's where you're actually like, right? you know, I'm, they're not going to win because I'm human. What they want me to do is not fear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And for me, my response to that was that actually... I want to respond with sympathy and compassion. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, like, I believe that hurt people hurt people at the mm. end of the day. Like, they're probably just saying, like, you could some of these bums in yeah. like, <laughs> accounts. And you're like, bro, you post the most, con like, <laughs> just the most, like, cringe content. Mm. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, like, who are you to yeah. hate on me? Yeah. Like, you, yeah. who are you at the first place? And I see some things that have happened to them and I'm like oh right it makes sense doesn't justify what you're doing because it's still whack yeah but like I understand why you're doing what you're doing and for me like I'm a strong believer in you know science and also like I believe in God and mm. I'm like just going off science it's like nothing can neither be created or destroyed that's yeah. how matter works yeah. right so anything and everything is energy yes so why can i not just take the energy that's negative that they're giving me and convert it into positive energy I literally wrote a book about that. Like, literally <laughs> all, yeah like and i was just like oh that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take all this negative energy they have to me and whether it's i respond with like they may say something like bro you sound like a flat tire when you're sick mm. and i'm like yeah it's kind of funny i could just respond with like oh I'm sorry that you feel that way. I still hope you have a good day. <laughs> if I even respond. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. they just look like an ass. Yeah. Or I can take that and put it into like a song and write a song about what it feels like when somebody says something mean to you. Yeah. And how you would deal with that. Mm. And take then now someone is going to be healed from that song who's like experiencing things like, oh man, people always say all these mean things to me. And now they have a song they can listen to whenever they feel like people are hating on them right. for no reason. And you get this thing where, like, one of the things you start to notice with that energy transformation, like, somebody comes out with you with a lot of hate, and your desire is to respond the way that they initiated. Yeah. If you have a little bit of, you know, meta-awareness, what you can do is be like, I'm suddenly filled with energy and the desire to act. Yeah. I'm gonna go write an AP. Yeah, you know, like exactly. <gasps> no, I'm gonna abandon you. You, you. Thank you for that energy. Yeah. I'm num 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 toodles. Yeah. <laughs> like, exactly. And you can do whatever you want with that energy. Yeah. Right. Like for me, I just chose to transform it into you know. And it's so compassion. hard. It's so remember, hard. I remember seeing like those comments, and I was just like, I, I was like, I need to get like. All my mates would be like, yo, and, and find these people. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. All my friends were like, yo, like, we're going to yeah. respond to them. And I was like, guys, don't, <laughs> don't respond to them. Well, there's got like, okay, so like the reason why I'm like, no, there, that's a true nice edge because like there's the bigger, like, because there's, 
what you end up with is a false dichotomy and that's really what they put you in yeah is that they come at you and they say will you allow me to continue to hurt you where yeah. i'm literally receiving no consequences so i'm going to keep trying until yeah. i get my way or are you going to snap back at which point i have the power to villainize you yeah like and i have fallen into this trap again and again and again and again mm. and again like i'm an emotional creature i am a human i will fall into this trap again yeah. for the rest of my life i know yeah. i will but i have at least the awareness to like almost like that groundhog day mm. right where you're like until i see what it is like what is what is going on here yeah. Why are you coming at me with this energy? Mm. Why do you need me to either be the villain or the victim? Yeah. What is going on? Like, and usually it's economics. That's my answer for everything. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Then they're probably broke and tired and traumatized. Yeah. Like, that's probably it's the bottom line. It's a toxic paradigm. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, but uh, right now, I appreciate anyone who takes that toxic energy for which is at an all-time abundance post-COVID mm. and is able to be like, and I'm going to drop an EP. <laughs> like, yeah. like with mad respect. The people do need to be put in check. It doesn't need to be you that does it. Yeah. The people do, you, you totally should have the right when receiving that kind of BS yeah. to take all of the energy they just put on your doorstep, take all the shit they just threw at your doorstep, use it as fertilizer but somebody should be able to chase them down and be like don't do that shit like yeah. nah, no and literally i just put my head down and kept doing me i was like yeah, mm. i'm gonna just keep showing you guys what a cafe mm. means yes and by the end of it it was like i now had everyone turn into my fan yes yeah. it was like the people who hated me the most are now like their biggest fan. fans like yeah. on the pop stars facebook page mm. people were just like oh man tj's <laughs> yeah, like, like, i was like oh you are the same person who told me I shouldn't be in the top 12. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Because that, that, that was the thing I with pop stars. I was like, I was like, you had the, you, you have to be one of the contenders like, who are the most like recognizable black people in the field. <laughs> it's like, it's between like you and Jess B. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take that. I want to take that. I want to take that. I like that. That's beautiful. Yeah, I haven't really thought about that. But I mean, I do get stopped like every day. Every time I go out, I will get stopped for like pictures. I noticed today I haven't been smiling in pictures. Really? Apparently, I've been looking like I don't oh, want to be in the gosh. picture. Oh. And, and this is every single thing. I thought I was smiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it must be like a yeah, it must be like a weird thing because then like again that's that obviously that weird thing because obviously like through your sort of things you're like oh like people ask me about this I'm happy to do it like I'm, yeah, happy, I'm enjoying doing I'm this so I'm happy, happy to do, happy to do it but yeah. then if it looks then they're like oh he, he's not smiling in it it might like, just be that thug branding I'm yeah, sorry yeah. we get that sometimes I got yeah. thug face like I can sometimes like find myself and I'm in a photo I mean in my mm. particular case half of my face is partially paralyzed but mm. I got thug face even yeah. when I did, wasn't the case I still had thug face yeah. and someone would take a photo of me and I'd be like what you want <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, well, go on, my jeans. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, like, just, like, I just smile to the point it's almost a grimace, and people are like, can you just, like, smile, like, normally? And yeah, like, 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 no, no, this is how I do this. If I smile normally, when you take the photo, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if yeah. I do this, when you take the picture, I'm going to have a normal smile. Trust yeah. the process. Yeah. That's, that's the one. where I'm at now. I realize that I need to smile a little harder. Or do, like, some kind of, like, hey, I'm happy to be in this picture. Gotta get that Will Smith Z-Bain. face going. Yeah. That's why Will Smith is the way he is. Like, I think so. Overly energetic. Right? He's just, like, positive, yeah. black energy. When he comes up like, to camera, yeah. he's yeah. just normal. Right? Right? <laughs> Th- yeah, no, nah, he did. He actually managed to brand himself as, like, the happy black guy. And I'm like, oh, yeah. thank God. Like, <laughs> like yeah. somebody's got to do it. I can't do it. I yeah. can't do it. I got too much, I got too much that, anger though. management for this mm. shit. There's <laughs> that. With that, he can't be the guy who's like, Real. man, there's a problem happening in the black community. Yeah. Let's call it. Oh. Yeah. No. no. But Nobody's like, going to take me seriously. Yeah, I'm the really happy black guy. Smith in that situation. Yeah. But it's one of those weird things, because, like, it's, yeah, like, it's, like, Kind of persona based, but it's one of those things where I remember like it was. I think probably the same thing that comes up. Like I remember there's like this is well before everything that came out. But I remember like Dave Chappelle talked about like Bill Cosby must have said something. This was like 2005, 2006, Mm. Mm. and he was like, Bill Cosby must have said like some real shit. Mm. And so he was just like, well, people forget that Bill Cosby is from Philly. Yeah. Same same thing with Will Smith. Will Smith's from Philly. Like Will Smith had will had he's gone through it. He's seen some shit. Went through it. And you've got to respect the that you come out that other side of that and you're like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to be the positive person. I'm yeah. going to be yeah. like, 
there's a mad respect for that. Like, yeah. it takes a lot to stay happy all the time. As a mm. guy who's always spreading a god there all the time, I will tell you there are times where I'm genuinely not okay. Mm. Like, I'm going through it, going through the most, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, you realize that, oh, wow, no one's actually going to see me not go, like... Yeah. And that's the thing as an artist, like, I saw, like, a while ago, like, everyone hating on Billie Eilish and her getting uh, cancelled. Ugh. And I was like, for stuff she did when she was 14. Mm. Y'all, chill. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, it was bad. But it was like, she's obviously grown. Yeah. What she did last year, especially for the black community, was insane. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, you can't look at people's, like, pop. And that's the thing I'm so worried about as an artist is that, like, people will find any small thing to do to cancel you. Mm. Like, I could be <laughs> agape all the time, like I am right now. Yeah. And then I don't smile in one picture. Yeah. Next thing you know... See, he's taking pictures with 17-year-old <laughs> girls. Every time he takes a picture with a 17-year-old girl, he doesn't smile, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Cancel Z. Well, and I'm like, what the heck? But it is. So I think that there's like there's this whole thing about cancel culture, right? Yeah. And we collectively as artists are afraid of it. It oh, has yeah. been weaponized against the little man. It yeah. really has. It's not hurting any. It's not hurting Bezos. It's not. It never will. But it will collectively continue to be used against small people. Yeah. And I think one of the things that I'm starting to actually get uh, a sense of mm. is that um, you will have mobilized against you a narrative. Oh, At some time. point, it will happen. Everyone knows a different version of you. Yeah. Mm. Like yeah. The, the TJ my mom knows is not the same TJ no. that my best friends know. And it never will be. my crowd knows. Right. And even the TJ that my mom knows is not the same TJ that my dad knows. And what that is, is an arrest, like what it's happening is it's your ability to self-dictate your narrative is being arrested from you. Yeah. And I actually think even more than being cancelled, that's mm. what's, that is what we are afraid of, yeah. is having our narrative be hijacked. Yeah. And when you're on the receiving end of that, it's fucking terrifying. Mm. But I also think that we're at the, we're, we are at the, like this happened to Britney Spears however long ago, which is why that free Britney campaign, people be out there being like, okay, we done. We're not we're doing this anymore. No, yeah. we're not letting people hijack people's narratives mm. and turn them into whatever. And what happened to Britney is so messed up. Yeah. I remember being a kid, like, we were like, what, 10, 12? Yeah, right. And we'd be like, oh, she's shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. 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 baby. And it's yeah. like, those are all cries for help. Yeah. 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 Because we now know what was happening yeah. in our life mm. for all that to be happening. Yeah. And we're like, oh my God. And I think that the thing that we're coming to, like, we collectively are finally arriving at the station, which is that, like, narrative of. Like, you know, we when somebody hijacks your narrative and takes it away from you and yeah. they are trying to put you on blast for that. Yeah. Something I have been on both sides of this. <laughs> yeah. I ain't even gonna I'm not even ashamed anymore. I'm like, yeah. no, I've been on both sides of oh, this. Oh yeah, journey. we all have. Like, right, like, oh my god, have I been on both We've sides been of haters. this? Like, I, <laughs> Everyone's I, a hater. I'm not even ashamed anymore. I'm gonna be like, look, all you haters, I have been with you. I have held the yeah. pitchfork and I'm learning to put it down. Yeah. Not yet. I'm still holding it <laughs> yeah. for personal reasons. But, like, it is about trying to collectively... It's it's that um, prisoner's dilemma. That's what I'm looking for. It's yeah. a prisoner's dilemma where what we're all asking for is a collective agreement to put the gun down. Right? Like, But we do all have to agree at the same time. Yeah. Because otherwise, all it means is you put the gun down and you're an idiot and they shot you. Yeah. Um, but we are all learning to say, look, let's rewrite the narrative around crazies and lazies and stupids yeah. and, and, you know, like, let's stop slut shaming and, mm. like, thug, thug bumping and say, oh, he's an abuser, she's a, you know, whore. Like, yeah. let's actually all come to a collective rewriting of the human narrative that says, we are not going to abandon you mm. for what you are not. Yeah. But we're not there yet. No, we're we're not. not there yet. No. And that's what we're all afraid of, <laughs> yeah. is if I put this pitchfork and this torch down, <laughs> will I be the next one on the, like, you know, the slab? Yeah. <laughs> so. And that's the thing. It's like being vulnerable sometimes lets you get really hurt. Yes. And you're like, oh, 
<laughs> Last time I was vulnerable, I got really hurt. I don't want to be vulnerable this time. Oh, so snaps. let me just jump Ooh. on the train of not being vulnerable. Especially in the black community? Are you oh, kidding yeah, me? Sure, like, yeah. we have, like, an entire, like, 500 longer history of having a really good reason to never do that. Oh, yeah. A hundred like, reasons. Why, why are black women so angry? Us, like, really? You go ask that. Like, yeah. like why aren't they soft and vulnerable? Us, like, mm, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you just go to a neighborhood you've never been to before? Like, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you get tense when certain things happen in yeah. certain situations? So, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's something I've said. And I noticed one of my friends, like, in the States, messaged me and he was like, yo, like, I do this thing where, like, do you, he said, do you ever do this thing where, like, you, you pause, like, be like in the middle of something and you, like, pause and you just won't move until you hear another sound? Yeah. And I was like, Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then and then we did like the survey of like all our friends and I was like and all the black people all the black friends were just like Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we do that and all the black friends were like, What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Or flinch when like someone's hand is like within your hair. Yes. You're like, whoa. Like you And do. they may not even be going for you. They might be like, Oh bro, you've got something on your face and you're like, Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> no. right? But just a PTSD uh-huh. of people always touching your hair as a kid without your permission. Oh mm-hmm. snaps. Like, uh, I had this thing where me and Leo were walking down the street, and this one mm. guy is in our blind spot, and we both turn in unison, yeah. like, and it was funny, because we just looked at each other, and she's like, yep, that's the one, like, yeah. that's it, that's I there it goes. I was literally walking with my bro <laughs> last night, and we, like, a car just pulled up behind, like, beside us, and we both went... Yeah, right? And we're like, oh, it's just a, it's a security <laughs> car. <laughs> we were both like, damn, the brothers. Right? So, like, <laughs> like, I'm like, that's the same thing, like, I'll be walking home. And it, it, and it's it's the get out feeling. Like, yes. you know, and then we're going to get yeah. out when, like, you, like, like there's this, like, you stand here and, you, and the car kind of follows. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing that's feeling. Like, I'm walking home, like, it'll be like 11 o'clock night, and it's just me at this point, and then a car will suddenly pull up, like, and they start slowing down because it's their street. Like, they're going yeah. out, and there's a moment I'm just like, I'm like walking, like looking back, and just yeah. like the entire time. Just I, like, mm-hmm. I think one of the upsides, though, of being black with that kind of like sharp thing is that all of us could like imagine being white and having that sense, and all of your white friends are like, we don't know what you're talking about. Like being black, you're like, oh, that happens. Uh, and we're like, oh yeah, I know, it's <laughs> yeah, I know, totally that's good. Right, yeah. like, I told you, I was like, like yeah. it, within our culture, I, I I have this optimism that within our culture is such a intrinsic history of trauma that especially mm. as the globe gets more and more volatile, we will actually have been developing the tools in advance to be able to cope with them mm. so i'm actually like almost op- like i'm weirdly optimistic about black people in the future because yeah. we're like no nah, we still prioritize music and dance and you know beans and rice mm. <laughs> you know like yeah. we're still prioritizing Sus. connecting <laughs> and we we still we actually whilst we still have like a lot of trauma about trauma mm. we we are actually on the front lines of starting to address that generational trauma because we've got to but because yeah. we all have to we are actually doing it like yeah. a little bit in like a vibe together yeah so like, mm, yes, <laughs> bring that again back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we jump into the song? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ne- next, next going down the line. Let's what what pair as well. What well, pair as well with this <laughs> conversation? That's <laughs> what was this conversation? We're talking about love. Yeah. Yes. Talking about love. Uh, oh. Spain without an S. Yeah. Spain without an S. Spain without an S. S. Actually, because this is about being hurt. There we go. Uh, That's the one. And I, we did talk about um, comments and yes. me being hurt. Right? It's, it's about that prisoner's dilemma, right? Yeah, like learning. I don't know if you know the prisoner's dilemma. But Is that you would describe it as yeah. everyone having a gun and then it's like, who's going to put down the gun first? It's an old psychology thing, which is the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah. Imagine you have two prisoners, and if they work together, then nothing really good or bad happens. But if one betrays the other, that one might get to go free. But uh-huh. if they both betray each other, something bad happens. Then they both. Then they both. So, so they have to figure out each other's character oh. in order to figure out are you going to betray me should we both betray each other like oh. or do i betray you because you're so like right like and it's that dilemma damn and that's the basis <laughs> of a lot of modern social psychology damn <laughs> no one <laughs> look is. into it it yeah. is it, it is no one wins. that's dark it, it's good uh, it's good yeah. Dark, and now we go to Spain without the ends. Which, you know, it just sounds like a dark title. Right, let's give this a whirl. <laughs> uh, yo, and we are black. 
back. We are black. We, we are, are black. We are, we are black on the back house. <laughs> <laughs> we are back on the black house 106.1 FM. <laughs> Yo, we've had we have Z in the studio today and like damn, like it's been it's been good. Like we've like like I think this is like the fastest I feel like an interview's gone. Yeah. I know, like, right? So I guess like yeah, just, as we kinda head out, closing out, like I guess say anything you wanna plug. Like you mentioned you have your Do you EP. wanna tell us about the heartbreak that made you write that song? <laughs> that song. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like that's all I'm, li- I'm is, listening to this and I'm like yeah I've been there tell is this, me is this gonna who be is like, she is do I gonna... need to find her <laughs> is this Denise and beef am I gonna have to leave the room <laughs> you know what this <laughs> I... <laughs> the way this <laughs> I found it I found it didn't I I was like hold on here it is let me just like pull that like you know it depends how much time do we have um, <laughs> seconds got, yeah like. A minute and a half. Yeah. Okay. Well, because I have to describe, because I have an EP called Love is a Trap. Mm. I kind of have to describe that to mm. get to ah. where we are here. But you know what? I'll just, I'll just say what happened when we're making this song in a studio session. Yeah. We're pretty much walked in. It was my first time like having like a uh, working with Dan Martin, amazing mm. producer, mm-hmm. super talented dude. And um, I had another guy from Balu Brigada. Mm. His name is Harry. Ah, uh, Henry. Sorry. Yeah. Henry came in and he was um top lining so he was a songwriter and then I was like mm-hmm. an artist and we're like we're like what are we making this song about because I only had with the chords and mm-hmm. all that and I was like I want to make it about a heartbreak and I told them a bunch of different stories and I was like yeah I was just trying so hard yeah. to make it about a certain story so I had all these different stories talking about this girl and that girl then we honed down on one girl who really like oh like what she did was so whack like she but the thing is like this whole weekend I've learned to forgive her and I'm like oh yeah. I actually really like her. I think she's really like, <laughs> It's hard, eh? Yeah, because it was just like, she led me on for like the whole summer. You, you, so I felt like I felt led on and that's what that song was like. Yeah. Hit the lights, you were being left in the dark. Yeah, like, I mean, like there's yeah. this thing, there's this like painful thing where it's often the one who cut you the deepest where you're like, I'm going to go to my grave thinking about you. <laughs> yeah. I might even get married to somebody else. We'll yeah. have six or seven kids. And then like on my final deathbed, she'll be like, I love you, sweetie. And you'll be thinking about this other yeah. person. <laughs> But I was like, yeah, that's the thing. It was like, what she did was even like that. You know, I think it was just like, we were both not mature enough to yeah. handle the situation. And we yeah. both, lack of communication. And then, love is fire, man. Yeah. Love is a trap. You're yeah. correct. Love I saw that. Trap. I was like, mm, 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 <laughs> Yeah, mm, love can right. be a trap. But it's a beautiful trap that you want to be caught in sometimes. Really? And, that's and I'm just like, I think now after making that song, I'm like, I'm really good. I don't, it's not really a heartbreak song, but it's like a, this is what it feels like when you're left in the dark. Yes. Yeah. Like, I tried to capture that whole, like, and even, like, during, like, the verses, if you notice, it was just a guitar and, like, mm. a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I literally tried to recreate what it feels like knocking yeah. on someone's door. Yeah. And I was, like, literally just, duh, duh, duh. and they're like, you sure you don't want to add, like, stairs? It's like, no, I no. want to <laughs> add anxiety in the song. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want it to be, like, you listen to this and you're, like, anxious as a listener. Like, yeah. what the heck? Yeah. You feel that anxiety mm-hmm. I felt when I was, like, yo, are we going to date? Yeah. Are we like, just friends? Yeah. yeah. Like, what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, you know, like. Girl, we <laughs> Okay, so, like, I'm going to need to let this EP in, like, yeah. in full. Yeah. Like, yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show. Absolutely. Today. Thank you oh, guys for having me. It's been so good. Oh, like, good energy. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, ne- next time you're up here, we'll, we'll, we'll get you back in and, like, we have like a release, like one mini EP release. Yo, I yeah. definitely want to do like a massive <laughs> tour. Yeah, well, I really want to tour this EP, so mm. we'll see. Oh, also, if you're in Dunedin, 21st of August, I'm having my first ever headlining show. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Oh. Come through Stardust. Oh, snaps. Tickets will be out very soon, but um, I just thought I wish I should promote that Perfect. while I can. Yo, well, this has, thank you, thank you so much, Z. Like, that's, that's fantastic. And yeah, if you go to, go to start, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so this has been The Black House on 106.1 FM with 106. Eddie and Nani. Peace. 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 Gang, gang.